Yes. Um. <laughs> <laughs> What's poppin'? How it do, how it don't. <laughs> oh my god, this is a collab. <laughs> With my sister. First of all. It's Me in the background. I want, I have a question, I have a question. How come? <laughs> I have a question. My voice cracks all the time. Why? Sometimes I feel like I'm like a 12 year old boy going through puberty and like, I don't want that. Huh? What's that? Oh, my heart. <laughs> Link in bio. Sometimes I watch this and I'm like bored. <laughs> Why? So I have this video on this channel called a mall haul from way back when. And it has like a minute lag on it. Yeah, it has like a minute lag and she watches it, my sister. Watches it all the time when she's bored, and I think that's ridiculous. I all just right, to eat these. let's do a painting haul, okay? So, I started painting for my anxiety or whatever. Here's a guy. Here's a guy. Yes. <laughs> so I started painting for my anxiety, and I like follow Bob Ross tutorials. So I wanted to show you my paintings. I don't remember the names of all these. I'm sorry. This is called like Arctic Beauty or something. They're all Bob Ross, so you can find them on the channel. Chan Chan. But um, this was the first one I ever did, which is like pretty nice. So, pretty happy with it. And then this was the second one. And I've like never painted before. And like, you can ask my sister, Bobby, can I draw? No. Exactly. Like, I can't draw, I can't paint, I can't do anything. So, it's like really easy to do and really fun. This was the second one I did. Called like morning, snow morning, something like that. Okay. And then this one I did last night, and it was called like autumn something. Like that one. So yeah, like I don't paint. It will fall me. Oh, we do love Tyrus. If you watch Andy Mac, you know. But uh, yeah, I don't paint or anything. So. So, so it it was pretty easy to do actually. You just have to like follow. The directions. I'm like, I didn't think I could do it, and I did. Also, here's Bryce. That's disgusting. I don't like the way their tongues sound. That's a personal preference. There's whiskey. She lost three pounds. That's pretty good. All right. Well, that's it. So I want to show you my paintings and mess around because we went to go to the to the salon. Where my sister proceeded to use my credit card to get her eyebrows and lips done. But I'm getting paid back. But I was so generous that I went through Taco Cabana and I didn't ask her order. And then I asked her and she gave me her order of dog pepper. Oh, the lady at Taco Cabana. Get in here, Fabi. This is. Okay. The lady at Taco Cabana. So we go up to the drive thru, right? And we're like, Hi, like, hello, because, like, no one was answering. So I was like, hello, and she's like, hello, I'm going to talk to her. I was like, okay, right from the start, if you start talking like that, like, you know it's not going to be good service. I'm not even in the frame. There That's you go. my leg. <laughs> you know it's I not going to be good service. I threw the beans at the bottom of your box, and he threw it on my leg, there's beans on my box. <laughs> yeah, there's beans in my box, apparently. In my taco cabana quesadilla box. I don't know. Logic. What? Why did you have to say that? Because, because I don't know box. Like, okay, what? Anyway, so, <laughs> so yes. So the lady at Taco Cabana, um, I was like, okay, I was already like PO'd because she had spoke just like very like monotone, and I was like, if you're working in drive through, you should like not speak like that. Like the people at Starbucks, the people at Starbucks got it yesterday. I went to Starbucks after a sleepover. And he was like, good morning, beautiful, how are you? And I was like, oh my gosh, like, I'm beautiful? Like, oh my god. So, and then he offered me free banana. Like, the taco cabana chick needs to take some pointers because, like, that's killing it right there. Like, that's killing it. So she was like, back to the lady at taco cabana. So I ordered my food. She was like, yes, yes. I was like, okay, gross, disgusting. And then I turned to my sister and I was like, oh, so sorry, I didn't ask, do you want anything? And she goes, Dr. Pepper. So I go, okay. So I go, hello, again, to the speaker. And she goes, <sighs> like the biggest sigh on the planet. And she goes, 
Yes. And I'm like, okay, what the hell? Like, I'm so sorry, but um, can you please add in a Dr. Pepper? And she's like, okay. And I'm like, what? I'm so sorry that going to the little drink thing and pressing the Dr. Pepper thing again is gonna like take away from your time when you're supposed to be working, first of all, Camila, and not like <gasps> going on your phone, you know? Like, I'm so sorry. So we go out to the window and I'm just waiting. Oh, first of all, I asked for a Diet Coke, okay? And then she recites my order back to me after I asked for my sister's Dr. Pepper and she goes, to Dr. Pepper, is this at all? And I was like, oh my God. So I was just like, you know what? Like, whatever, I don't care. Get me my food. The line, there's like two cars in front of me. It takes like 20 minutes. I'm mad, not really, but like it takes 20 minutes. And then we get up there and she's like, <sighs> and she hands me one Dr. Pepper. I'm like, okay, where's the other one? She goes, can I see your receipt? Oh, you should know what I ordered. It's on your little screen. But I reached yeah, to my glove compartment. Yeah, like, probably like work somewhere. You're gonna see this and get really offended. I don't care. No one is subscribed. So I go and I take my receipt from the glove <laughs> compartment and I give it to Camila and I'm like, and she takes and she goes, and I'm like, and she goes, do you know what you ordered? I was like, I gave you the receipt, but okay. Um, two Dr. Peppers and a quesadilla, I think. And she's like, oh, you're right, you're right. She gives it back to me, gives me my food, and then a fire truck goes off. And we leave. But I'm just like, if you work anywhere where you have to like speak to people, put on a good attitude, even if it's like fake. Cause like, I don't want, like I'm so sorry that I'm ruining your day by coming to this drive-thru where you're supposed to treat me with respect and get me food. Like I'm so sorry that you have to do your job. I'm sorry. Um, if you don't want to speak to people, like go find a job where you don't have to speak to people. Even though that's like, very rare, but like, I don't want to um, hear you sigh over the little intercom, Camila, because it's literally so rude when you're like, <gasps> and like, I don't, I don't want that. Okay, um, peace. Um, what's that one thing that people say when hit they want to respond? No, 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 that, what's up? Hit or miss, respond in the comments below.